Hello everyone, I'm Beth from Abby's Addicts Creations. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a light box in Maker World. So you're going to head on over to MakerWorld.com, um, click on Create Light Box, and then you're going to drag and drop your image that you would like in there. Over here you can crop it however you would like. You can do circle, um, one to one, four three, free um so just pick what's best for you you can also remove the background if you have a background and then it's going to bring you up to this page from here you can click how many colors you want there's actually only three colors in here i don't know why it's saying seven but we're going to lower that down to three from here we are going to select the colors that if you want to change any colors anyways um, if not you can just leave it exactly as is I am going to turn the pink to white I'm going to turn this like off whitish to a white and that's how I'm going to create mine with just the two colors I'm going to confirm that That's the width I want. From here on the other hand side, you can add a stroke if you wanted to, which will just put a ring of color around it. You can choose the different colors you want. If you wanted black around it, you know, any color that you want. I, however, am not going to be doing that. So I'm going to turn that back off. You can click on preview and it'll show you exactly what it's going to look like. You can turn it around. You can see what it would look like without a light. You can see the different plates. And we are now going to add um, a hole. So you just click off of your image and then you're going to come over here um, from here it has different holes you can choose from i'm going to add a keyhole for hanging you can change the dimensions if you would like as well i'm just going to try to keep it in the center and up a little higher and that's it you can add a circle or a rectangle um, to your project if you wanted it for to hang the wires out however for me I don't like the way that they do it they do it so that it's in the back instead of going around the side which is how I prefer it if you wanted to change anything if you wanted to add a reflective layer which a reflective layer and I will show you in the preview And I have to go to plates. It just adds a white layer in the back. Honestly, it doesn't make that big of a difference for me. I feel um, it's just very subtle change, especially in the middle. Um, so I no longer do that. You can change the dimensions as well. And then you would just hit export. This will come up. You confirm it. And then you would click download. And then from there, you're going to head over to Bamboo Studio. Now that we're back over in Bamboo Studio, we are going to create a new project. And we will drag and drop our project in. This is where I like to create my hole. I use negative, I right click on the mouse and then I use a negative cube. I'm going to resize that. I personally like to use a 12 millimeter by 12 by 12. I'm then going to move it. And I kind of like to keep it about in the middle of where it is. I'm going to change the view and I'm going to bring it up just a hair. When you're doing this, you have to make sure that that hole is going both in and out. That way it does a clean 
area. That looks pretty good to me. I'm then going to go back over to global on the other side here and I'm going to look for precision. I like to make sure the arch fitting is selected that way it fits snugly but like not so snug that you can't open it if you had to. Another thing you can do is you can adjust these here if you wanted to. Which it ain't actually letting me do right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the auto circle contour hole or you can do the arch fitting as well and um, that'll just make it so that the fitting has a tolerance so that it's um, kind of snug but not like I said too snug. This one here is actually it looks like it's a new feature um, that they're trying and it looks like contouring within a diameter of 50 millimeters only supports PLA. So that looks like something new. I will definitely be experimenting with that at some point. Um, but this is typically what I do. It typically fits pretty good for me. It's still loose enough that I can take the back off if I had to change the lights out. Or um, snug enough that it will not fall off. So then you're going to slice it. You can do just slice all plates. And once it's done slicing, it will tell you the approximate cost of the filament and about how long it'll take you to complete the project. Where I did slice all the plates, it's telling me a total time of three hours and two minutes with a cost of $1.90 in filament about and only about 2.40 grams of waste. So that's not that bad at all. Um, it, you just would now you can send it to your printer from there. You just click print plate and it'll send it right on over to your printer. Here is the final results with the lights on and with the lights off. I hope this helps someone make a light box. And if you have any questions, please just drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to get them all answered for you.